everybody i'm back i am back the baby came and it was a boy and he is well and now i feel ready to get back onto this uh discussion and um this amazing journey that i've been going on with you guys this is rena hicks with money wise where we create grow and preserve wealth so on this episode we are going to be talking about mind shift. I had a class last year, towards the end of the year, before I went on uh, maternity leave, and there was a lady who said to us, hey, let me just tell you, my husband has to be the one to earn money and know where that money is going, because he's the one, he's the man. Otherwise, he's useless, useless. And the class burst out laughing. We all laughed, and Daddy laughed, until we realized, hey, she's, she's actually serious. Um, and so I thought to myself, it's interesting that she should think that. And all of us have attitudes and beliefs about money that come from our upbringing, that come from experiences that we've gone through. So it would be interesting to think through what attitudes you have about money. Some feel, hey, I'll never be rich. Gosh, those ones are lucky. Others say, I hate the stock market. It doesn't work. It's never going to work for me. So forget about it. Others, it's, I don't do real estate. Mm -mm. It's for con men. That one, I don't do it. Others, it's comparing. Hey, I had this story of a woman and her husband, and she was just like, Hey, babe, see, Akina Nani have bought a VX. Akina CCG. When we know even we are not even, we are just struggling. When will we ever make it? Those guys compare. And a lot of women do that. It's very frustrating for couples. When you have somebody who's constantly comparing. Here's the thing. We need to take responsibility. And we need to say, this is a new year. I am taking responsibility for my growth, for my advancement, and I'm going to be wealthy. And guess what? I'm going to commit to take time to learn about finances, to learn about opportunities, so that when a good investment comes, I'm able to tell, ah, uh -uh, this is a good one, or ah, uh -uh, this is a bad one, and I'm not touching it. Not relying on somebody else's views of that particular investment. I'm going to take this year as my year to dream, to have a clear and precise vision of exactly where is it I want to go. Because only then can I have dreams that are mine and a plan that is mine and set goals that are mine and not use somebody else's success or failure to determine whether I am successful or I'm a failure. All right, guys, can we do that? Agree together that we're not going to use other people's successes or failures to measure up with to know whether I am doing well or I'm doing badly. We have a tendency of doing that and we're going to stop that this year. This is our year to thrive, all right? We're going to create, we're going to grow and preserve our wealth. So I'm committing to have an open mind, to learn more, to read more, to see myself more as God sees me and to actually um, understand what is in store for me and to dream and have this vision. Are you in? Subscribe and we'll walk this journey together. <laughs>